We are here today to show you the assembly process for the Catalina 3-in-1 crib. On the box, locate the hardware blister pack. It should be secured in a place and identified by a red ribbon ran to a red hardware tag on the outside of the box. This is to help you locate the hardware easily. Remove all parts and hardware from the box and lay out on a clear, carpeted, or scratch-free work surface, as this will avoid damaging parts during assembly. The shipping box provides an ideal work surface. Do not dispose of any packaging or contents of the shipping carton until after the crib is completely assembled to avoid accidentally discarding small parts or hardware. The use of power tools to aid in assembly is not recommended. Power tools can damage the hardware and split the wood. Step one. First, you will identify the crib base, also known as the mattress support. On it, you will see an envelope. Open it and take the assembly instructions from it. Read the entire instructions prior to assembling the crib to ensure you are familiar with all the steps in the assembly process. For your safety and ease, assembly by two or more adults is recommended. Use the parts and hardware lists provided in the assembly instructions in conjunction with the illustrations in each step to ensure the Catalina 3-in-1 crib will be assembled correctly. Step 2. Attach the left crib end, part 3, and right crib end, part 4, to the crib headboard, part 1, using bolts A with the Allen key. Do not fully tighten bolts at this point to make installation of the mattress base and the remaining crib easier. Step three. Look at the interior of the crib and notice the holes on the crib ends. These determine the height of the crib base. The age of the child determines at which height to install the crib base. It should be installed at the highest level when the child is a newborn, and it must be at the lowest level before the child can stand up. Ask the customer at which height they want it installed. Find the mattress base. Ensure the assembly instruction envelope is located on the top of the mattress base. Next, turn all brackets upright. Carefully place the mattress base into the crib, taking care not to scratch the finish. Attach the mattress base to the left crib end and right crib end, parts three and four, using four short bolts and the Allen key. Do not fully tighten the short bolts at this point to make installation of the crib headboard easier. When necessary, you can change the height of the mattress base by unscrewing the short bolts, line up the mattress base with the holes at the desired height, and reattach the mattress base using the same bolts. Step four, attach the front gate, part five, to left crib end and right crib end, parts three and four, using four long Allen bolts with the Allen key. Step five, tighten all connections at this time. Step six, place the assembly instructions back into the envelope on the crib base and close it. Now the assembly of this crib is complete. 